Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to uh, Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. Today, we are going to continue our quest to find uh, Rail Shire, who is supposedly back at his lab, but we'll see. Shire Lab 2. Professor Real should be in Lab 1, you can reach it from the basement. Should be in Lab 1. This is not the same thing as is in Lab 1. It's the same song, but it restarts every time we enter a new area. Professor Real is back in the village. I think he's upstairs. The village. Hey, don't touch anything without asking. The other day a man touched a machine that turns people into frogs. That was a tough one. What happened to him? Too bad that. I made a new frog to people machine, but he came back as a snake instead. Mm. Snake? Then he became a lizard. Then an iguana. Some people are just unlucky, I guess. Did he ever return to normal? Oh yes, after three days he said, I never want to see a lizard's face as long as I live. Ha ha ha. I feel sorry for him. Excuse me, who are you anyway? You don't look like my lab students. I'm Jerome. These are my friends, Agro, Jaren, and Lufia. We're looking for Rail Shia. Would that be you? Yes, it would. I am the genius, Rail Shia. Why the face? You don't believe me, is that it? N no, of course not, but... Alright, I'll prove it to you. You look like fighters. Wait right here. How about this tonic? With this, you'll have four arms. Be twice as strong. Well, no, I don't think so. No, I've already run experiments on this, so the effects are guaranteed. You did? On who? Let's see, you're Jaren, right? For you. Notice how he avoids the question of who... This is perfect. It's guaranteed to make your hair grow. Really? Well, maybe I could try. Don't you dare. I see. You won't like it. My hair looks better than yours. Ha ha ha. Even if you try it, my hair will still be longer. Isn't that right, Jerome? Well, I wouldn't know. I've never really thought about it. Can't you tell? Where are your eyes, anyway? I not always look at your hair. Hey, Jerome. Lufia. What are you two talking about? Right. We're not here to talk about hair. We're here for a ship that goes under the sea. Oh, you mean Falcon. One of my best inventions. And Falcon can really travel underwater? Not only that, it can fly through the air. Wow, where is it? It's docked in the basin. I normally don't show it to anyone. However, I'll let you see it. Just a second, I'll open the door. This is Falcon. Isn't she amazing? Jerome, the ship is covered with dust. And the wings are a little chipped. Hmm, there's a hole in the ceiling. Sorry to ask, but you've never used Falcon before, have you? How would you know that? Well, anyone could tell just by looking at it. Well, if that's all you have to say, I'll give you a demonstration. Right now? You want to use Falcon, don't you? Didn't you? I'm saying you can. Are you having second thoughts? Actually, he's right. Are you seriously getting into this thing? What are you waiting for? Let's go. Come on, we need the ship to find the dual blade. Everyone ready ahead half speed. Prepare to dive. Is this vessel really seaworthy? What, what do you take me for? Now, like Lufia 2 and Final Fantasy, there are random encounters underwater. Hey, it's leaking. Are you sure we won't sink? We're fine. Pipe down. I'm getting soaked. Prepare to surface. I think traveling above the sea was a better idea. Will you be quiet? You amateurs know nothing. There's a slight problem. Underwater navigation is impossible. There's no problem on the surface, though. Of course, I can repair it, but my equipment isn't here. Come to Sh Shia Lab 3 later, straight west from here. He ran away, didn't he? I guess so. He just wanted to leave us with this contraption, didn't he? He's different, that's for sure. But somehow I like him. 
He doesn't seem so bad. Anyway, we can travel across the sea now. Let's make good use of it. Let's head for Shia Lab 3. He said he could repair Falcon, right? Okay, so where is this? This is Lab 1. Platina, aka Shia Lab 1. Since that's all that's here. Now, we're supposed to go straight west from Platina. What if we go east? I found a cave. Oh, hey, you remember this cave, right? At least the plains. Sweet water ran out. So, of course, the first thing you do when you get access to a new mode of transportation is explore everything you can with it. Oh no! Harpies! Wait, didn't we encounter these in the ancient cave? Or are these like kind of a non threat? That's because I got a surprise round this time, though. There's no guarantee that they'll continue to be a non-threat. Psycho Clan! Harpies! Alright. So this guarantees that anyone else who damages a harpy will be able to kill it. And there we are! Drones, level us up. Let's see, only three strength. That's kind of upsetting. We got ambush. Okay, so I'm gonna have you take on lobster and you can defeat the clan. Nice. It's gonna take two folk to defeat the harpy. And then after this, I think I'll heal. Okay, so stronger, Aguru, and no one else needs healing. Great. Oh, hey, look at this. Wait, that's Lydon. Well, now we know how the Shia Lab cave relates to Lydon. Healer heal. Alright, so let's see how this plays out. Oh, wow. They are not weak to lightning. The lightning is enough to allow Jaren to defeat one. I wonder how they react to Jaren's flame. Uh-oh. That's what makes Harpy scary. Jerome World High. High ladder's three strength is enough to allow him to finish these things off. Yeesh! I should have used a shriek on Aguru much sooner. And now I'm living in constant terror that uh, one of these might kill Lufia. But they didn't. Continue heading north. Lobster on. Take that, lobster on. Yeah, Jerome just rolled high that one time. Hopefully this one won't yodel at me. Alright. Oh, hey, what? Oh. I recognize these shrines. Uh-oh. 
Okay, this encounter rate is with Sweetwater lowering my encounter rate. to Elfrey and could have skipped three whole dungeons. Okay. Oh, really? Didn't roll high enough to defeat a clam there with Lufia's lightning spell. this Genova I tried to remember which place had a forfeit isle off of its coast. Luffy was defeating those clans in one hit before, and now she's not. Alright, let's see here. Oh, hey, is this a new place? Forfeit, yes! Welcome to the Isle of Forfeit, enjoy your stay. We sell only the best, even if they're forfeit. The very best, I tell you. Alright, let's see here. Gloom pick. Okay, so I think the gloom pick is cursed, but also causes instant death on enemies it hits. Upgrade one character's weapon. The very best, I tell you. Okay, selling off some stuff. Battle axe. Actually, yeah, let's sell off the gourds as well. I will not regret this. Shop, high potion, high magic. We sell fit forfeit goods from here and there, all over. Only forfeit goods. It's so strange that something I sold would end up here. I wonder if they sell any dresses from Lorbenia. Welcome! Uh, I want to look. Well, the silk, kite shield, hairband. Glass beret, knife shoes, heeled shoes. This is great. This is a customer's only shop. We have items sold a long time ago. So yeah, this shop, which has everything I have ever sold. Hello, I'm Anna. How do you do? 
I'm Lillian. Shall we go in? Oh, please look around. Goblet, ear chip, empty bottle gown. So the ear tip is an attacking item. It's actually pretty amazing in uh, that other game, Lufia 3. It's so rude of you not to buy anything. Anna's going to cry. I'm sure we have something you like. Please have another look. Please buy something or I'll be so disappointed. But please buy a lot for me, please. No. Purchase. Say thank you, Anna and Lillian. Thank you very much, Smack. Please come again, Smack. Mm, yes, I think I will come again, definitely. Don't be ridiculous, we'll never come back here. I'll say, after all, am I not with Jerome? That's not what I meant, what are you saying? Such anger will cause wrinkles, you know. I'm not anywhere near that old, I'll have you know. Alright, I can finally escape that shop. Never return to it. And thus it turns out that ear tips are an amazing attacking item like they turned out to be in uh, Luffy of the Legend Returns. I'm a king who's wild about rare things. Sometimes I sneak out incognito. Hey, that's a secret. Welcome to the House of Magic. I'll bet you don't have a long nail or a straw doll. So yeah, if we have a long nail and a straw doll, he can make us an item that causes instant death to enemies. And this just lets us get this mind ring. Here we sell you only the best. Okay, so. Mind ring raises intelligence by 20 co points compared with the red ring. Heck yes. Actually. Do you want the red ring? Raise your intelligence and agility a little bit by the cost of your attack, defense, and magic resistance. Mm, nah. Time to sell the red ring. And so yeah, that's Forfeit Isle. Sweetwater ran out. Uh oh. See here, what happens if I just sail east from here? Luffy wants healing now. That's not Lufia. Alright, just keep heading east until something happens. There it is. Harpy. Oh wow. At least he was able to one shot a harpy. Alright, it yodeled, but since it was against Augur, it was too little, too late. Okay. Lobster on Psycho Clam and Killer Eel. Ouch. Defeat the eel. Defeat one or more lobsters. Oh! Stop rolling low. Now we just use our weapons to defeat this crab. Alright, is this a place that I have been? Sweetwater Ramp inside Epro. I don't think I've heard of Epro before. At 
I saw this playthrough. Time to trample some flowers. When the mountain split, Eddie started forming the sea north of town. I wonder what's happening. Okay, yeah, this is the place I want to go. Alright, so. all over the flowers. Just in case this flower field happens to have a hidden item. Which seems to be getting more scarce as we go. There was a huge earthquake. The mountain just split up. X-bomb. Nothing there. The big earthquake split the mountain. It was so frightening. Look around. Look, I shall. And now I can't afford any other weapons. prevent me from selling dragon eggs, that's good. So, yeah. This place has better weaponry than I'm going to see for a while yet. We sell the latest things here. Also better armor. But I want weaponry first. These aren't stats I'm interested in raising for Lufia. Iron for Jaren, maybe. But later. Where are you? What do you sell? Nothing. You're sold out today. Okay, so... I guess that's everything here. There used to be a great sight on Erebus, northeast of town. I often went there when I was young. So Erebus is distinct from Eris. Alright, next I'm going to get to Shia Lab 3. And then, uh... So I want to go to Platina. And then I'm going to save an exit. Killer eels and lobster on. Focus fire on that last eel. And I got a goblet. Which I believe is an attacking item. Which reminds me, I want to purchase more high potions. I don't think Nufia. Lufia needs healing just yet. Oh hey, what's this? Jaren's level up. Three strength, four intelligence. Okay, this island probably has nothing interesting. Ghoul, pin lizard, and blue wisps.
I, there's not a lot to say about these enemies. I fought them so many times before. I will say, and I think I've mentioned this before, but I do think it's kind of neat that they leave the uh, area you were traveling on in the background when you get into combat. I don't know why I think it's neat, but I do think it's neat. Alright, and so here is... Arvis. Welcome to Shia Lab 3. Dream technology at Shia Lab 3. Professor Real is in the basement. Alright, so I'm gonna warp to somewhere with a save point. And then next time I'll work back to Carbis and uh, deal with some more plot. Did I get enough money to get another weapon? I did not. Alright, so... If I wanted to, I could off-screen grind for cash for better gear, but instead of that, I'm going to not do that. Oh, there's the church. You can tell by the stained glass windows. So join me next time when I meet with Professor Shia again, or the Dr. Shia, and uh, talk about getting this ship fixed up so I can go underwater. I will see you then.